Hey guys, what's going on? Pascal here. Um, this video is going to be a quick, it's going to be a quick one. I'm going to talk about um, a tool that I discovered uh, that helps me manage my crypto trades. I mean, if you're a crypto trader, and I'm sure, and I'm sure you've encountered this uh, issue where, like, for example, if you're involved with more than one exchange, for example, I have here like Bitrix, and if you want to see the different trades that I have put in, so I go on order, and then you will see like the list of trades that I have opened and the uh, the price I have entered these trades, the number of units that I purchased. And if I want to do the same for another exchange, then I go to, for example, to Bitfinex, and then I think you go to reports. Okay, if you go to your trade history, and let's put the uh, month to date and then view. Uh, I'm not seeing anything here because I need to go further back. Let's put the past three months and review. Okay, so here I have the a list of transactions that I have done on this platform. But I was looking for a tool that allows me to add to centralize everything and have a bird's eye view. And this is where I discovered coin tracking. I mean, I'm gonna show you how it works, but this this makes things very easy for me to, to check my statistics, how my trades are going. So as you can see here, I have uh, the main dashboard and it shows me the total value that I have in coin. It showed, shows me the value that I have in each of the coins. For example, I have 61, 61 for 45% of my portfolios in Bitcoin. And then I have some pay for 20, 21%. And then I have some other coins I'm involved with. And it gives me the trades per exchange and stuff like that. It gives me the trend for the past 24 hours of each of the coins. Here, uh, it gives me a, a timeline of all the activities that have been happening on my account since I started using it. So I think it's, it's pretty handy. So I'm going to cover like the basics on how um, you can get started using it. First thing what you, you're going to have to do is to, you're going to go to enter coins and then manual import. Okay. Now, the one thing you're going to see is, okay, let me, for example, here you have all the <clears throat> exchanges that it supports. So for example, if you're using Bitrix, then you click on Bitrix here and you can see that, um, all right, so there are two things here. Um, you can either import your data using a CSV or you can use API. Now I'm going to cover like, uh, this, the API option, uh, later on. But like, if you're getting started, um, and you want to use the CSV option. Now, if you want to import your CSV from your exchange, it's going to import the trades and the fees, but it's not going to import your deposit and withdrawals. So these are going to have to enter manually. So in order to do that, then, we go to um, manual import. So what you do, like you click on new, okay? And the transaction type, you put like general deposit. Like if you want to enter a, a deposit and then you put the amount here, let's say 0 0.01 and then the, the currency is BTC. Okay, so you select BTC. And you put the exchange name, which is Bitrix, okay? And then you click add transaction so what that would do it would create an entry all the entries are listed here will create an entry with the specific um, uh, deposit that you did now for the transactions you're going to click on bitrix here and then it asks you to go to your orders page 
and then you click on the load all so if we go to our orders page here i'm already on the orders page and the load all button is here so you click on load all click on the captcha thing and then click on submit so what it will do it will download the the latest uh, csv so then you go back to your contracting and then choose file and then we go to the download look for this file uh, where is this file hold on one sec let me try to locate it um it should be here so let me put this here okay all right so this is the file okay so it says that this csv file is valid and is successfully uploaded and then you click on import so what it will do is all the transactions that i already imported it will skip it and then the new ones will show on top okay so it says that the import data looks good and i can start importing so i import okay and it says the import is done Okay, so if you go back to the dashboard, here you're going to have to recalculate the trades. So I click here. Good. So I recalculate the trades, and I can see that um, my new transaction here is showing. Okay. So it, it it's pretty it's pretty handy on providing you like a bird's eye view of all your statistics on all your trades and if you want to import your data for bitfinex then you go you do the same thing you go to the import page and then you click on bitfinex and then on bitfinex you go to report and trade history i think i'm already here and then hold on so i have to go to report trade history and then you pick the amount of data that you want and then you download okay same thing so when you download it you go back here you pick the file you upload it and then you do the same procedure and then all your trades will show on the dashboard so one i mean there there's a lot of statistics you can see from here i mean i'll leave it to you to to um to explore but one of the things i like to do is to like when i want to re re check my gains like realize and or realize gains so i click on here and then here i can see like on this column i have my unrealized gains and on the right column i have my realized gains and if you click here like for more details that you can see uh, if i put like more entries for example, I can see the the earnings I made on each of my um, trades. I had an eighty percent win here, nineteen, twenty. So it gives you a, a nice overview of what's going on. And for those of you who are in the U.S. and you want to um, uh, create a document for a tax report, so I see it has this option here so you can use it i haven't used it yet because i'm not in the us but i just want to show you that it's available because i know a lot of you are wondering how you you can report your earnings with um, cryptocurrency trading so this is this will allow you to do it okay so i think this is a pretty pretty good tool as one more thing i want to mention is that they have it's free to use like up to 200 trades so now i'm still using the, few, the the free version because i only have like 44 trades um i can show you if you want to upgrade your account that you go here and it will show you the features of each of the accounts so you have the free plan which is what i'm using now and you have the pro and you have the, the unlimited so everything like is here um you can purchase it you can purchase the the paid versions for one year, two years, or use, or you, you can just pay the unlimited um, use. I think, to me, I think it's definitely uh, worth it, like to have um, 
this tool, I mean, if you're serious about your trading, then you, you're going to need a tool like this to properly manage everything. Um, so this is it, guys. I mean, there's no, uh, I just wanted to do like a basic overview and show you how useful this uh, tool is to me. So if you want to check it out, um, all you need to do is uh, sign up. I will put a link on the description of this video. Um, check it out. It's free to use for up to uh, 200 um, trades. Oh yeah, uh, with regards to the API, um, what I wanted to mention is that the, the free version allows you to do CSV uploads only. Like if you want to do API, then you're going to have to use one of the pro versions. And the API, it does everything automatically. You don't have to upload manually. You, you don't have to enter manually your, your deposit and withdrawals. I mean, it takes everything from the exchange. I mean, I, I think this is pretty awesome. All right, guys. I hope you like it. If you think if you think um, it's uh, it's this tool could be useful to you, you can always um, give it a try. It's free free to test. The link is on the, under the video. And I'm not an expert at it, but if you have any questions, you can just comment below, and I'll I'll see if I can answer. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.